right about now. Right about now. And we got some more popping. We bring exactly what you're wanting more often. The whole team's feeding to watch your jaw drop. This is World TV, and we got you all watching. Hello, Jason. Welcome to World TV. Yeah, hi. How are you, man? You cool? I'm good, thanks. Uh, first off, fantastic fight, Jason. Cheers, man. Thanks a lot. You know, um, I, I thought he was going to be really strong, you know, but um, it just shows when I clinched with him and he took me to the ground. I wasn't so worried, you know. You know, you feel someone out and. Um, I just felt he didn't really have it there to submit me. I knew he, I trained with better guys than that, man, seriously. Just just while you brought that up, you, you look very comfortable on the ground. Um, who, who's been your training partners or, or training camp? Um, oh, man, do you want me to list the name? Right, it starts off with Ashley. Yusubi, yeah, Yusubi Enomoto, Ashley Grimshaw, Michael Pastu, Brad Pickett, Paul Daly, Nick Oshishek, Jess Loudon, Pete Irving. All the top UK fighters there are, man. Name it Scott Jensen. Everyone's there, man. Everyone's there. Mate, that's a who's who of UK MMA right there. Um, Urban, Kings. Urban Kings every Friday, you know where we're at. Nice plug, Jason. I'm sure they'll appreciate that. Um, what's next for you, Jason, now? Oh, God. You know, um, to be honest, I didn't expect to win that fight. I, I, I thought to myself, I'm going to go in there and uh, give it everything I got. And I gave it everything I got. He, he tried to test me on the ground. It just shows I've been working on it and his ground wasn't up to scratch what I thought it was, you know. I knew he wasn't going to stand with me. If he st stood with me, I'd bang his chin off all day long, you know. That's how it is. That's how it is. He, he almost looked like he was going to shoot straight onto his back, Jason. Yeah, yeah, no. You know, what can I say? He stuffed every shot he tried to do, every knee bar. There's no way near as good as Ashley Grimshaw on the ground, trust me. When Ashley's throwing submissions at you, you've got to be ready for it, trust me. Mate, you're like a Tasmanian devil on the floor. Yeah, yeah, you know, I did try to scramble, you know. I think mainly it was my strength. <coughs> um, you know, I weighed in 68 yesterday, bang on. Today I'm 76, something like that. I, I put on weight quick, you know, I'm strong, you know. It just didn't have it there for me, just didn't have it there for me. You, you just said that you were looking to drop down the weight category. Yeah, yeah, I need a few more weeks of dieting, I hit 66. 66, be careful, man, I'm coming for you. Have you got anybody else left in this weight division or is that why you're moving down? Uh, I just found that I struggled a lot with people on the 70 kilo size. I'm always the shorter guy, you know, a little bit um, lacking on the upper strength power. Don't get me wrong, I fought some of the strongest and the toughest guys in England, but, you know, I think I can get down there, so I'm going to get down there, you know. Have you got any names on the hit list for the, for the featherweight division? Listen, I heard people were trying to uh, dodge this guy. I don't know what they're trying to dodge, man. Seriously, you've you, you got to ask yourself a question. Do you want to be a fighter? Stop dodging people, you know? If you're gonna be a fighter, go out there and fight whoever they put in front of you. That's what being a fighter is about. Well, he, uh, come, come, from, from, coming into this fight, he, he was ranked one of the top European fighters. Yeah, he, was ranked, he was ranked number one European um, uh, featherweight. It just shows that, man, I'm up there with the best. I'm up there with the best. I believe I can do it, you know? My team believe in me. Brad phoned me yesterday. Brad was saying to me, man, I believe in you. You got it. You did make that look very easy though, Jason. Yeah, no, no, it, it, trust me, it wasn't an easy fight. It wasn't an easy fight. When you're going three rounds with a high-level grappler like that, trying to dodge submissions, duck and weaving, you know, got caught with one jab or two, but I come out looking like I didn't even have a fight, you know. Just, that's you, you do still look good, Jason. You're safe. I make this sport look good, you know. <laughs> you got a new sponsor now, I see. Um, yeah, yeah, you, you know. Razor Storm, what can I say? Like, uh, thank you for the clothing, you know. Um, everyone who's helped me out there, Urban Kings, Team Titan, everyone down at Titan, I can't forget my home, you know. So I just want to say thank you a lot to everyone that's helped me for this fight. Have you got any final comments for all the, the haters and the doubters? Um, I just want to say, uh, hate it or love me, man. <laughs> you can hate it or love it. Think what you want to think, you know. I am who I am. I'll go in there and do my hard work. It pays off, you know. Just like to say thanks to James Walsh, my manager, and just everyone who put all their hard work and effort into it, you know. Uh, thanks, Jason, for your time. I think it's safe to say that you have silenced a lot of people out there. Yeah, cheers, man. cheers. I, I hope I prove to you guys that I can do it, you know, and that I've got what it takes to be up there. Um, he called me with a good knee bar in one of them. I felt my knee crunch a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to um, swell up a little bit. We'll have a look tomorrow morning, but I'm, I'm fine, you know. Live to fight another day, that's what it's about. There was a little discussion um, where my training in between rounds just pushes against my lungs just to help me breathe a little bit. 
and he was saying that I was greased up. So uh, Mark Goddard come over. He even took the T-shirt, started wiping me over. I was appealing. I was saying sorry. I didn't realise that this, like that, they was thinking something like this. Uh, they said they're going to try and peel it, but man, it doesn't change none of the fights. Every submission he put on in there, I come out of fair and square, fair and square. Vaseline on the face, yeah. If you're rubbing, trying to put guillotines on, it's rubbing all over the body. What can I say? What can I say? That's how it is. That's MMA. I think at the end of the day, Jay Lee should just admit he got beat by a better fighter. Exactly that, you know. And some people can't take a loss, man. I've lost to really good guys. Like, take it, Paul Sass. I didn't turn around and try and make up any excuses. On the day, he was the better guy, you know. He was the better guy on the day. I was the better guy on today. What can I say? It was a totally different Jason we saw in the ring tonight, though. In the cage tonight, sorry. I'm, I'm out there to shock people, you know. I cause disappointments. That's what it's about. Thanks again for taking the time out for Woe TV.